Hello Cosmic Fam, it's your girl Cosmic Jazz Do 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 and today I am back with another celebrity reading. This time is on Jay-Z once again. So if you are not aware of what's been happening with him, recently he has been accused of allegedly graping a minor back I think in the 2000s. Um, I believe 13 years old, that's what they were saying back then. And um, there is a lawsuit that he is facing now. Now, we don't know the name of the alleged victim. We don't know who it is yet. But it definitely has been stirring a lot of controversy. And, of course, people are linking Jay-Z to Diddy. And they're thinking both parties had something to do with it. So, we're going to be looking to the energy surrounding Jay-Z. Um, what's to come for him. Even look into the lawsuit itself and the energy surrounding it. And yeah, we'll just see what happens. Now, if you are returning, hi, welcome back, Cosmic Fam. I'm so happy for you guys to be here. Now, for those of you guys who are just joining, my name is Jazz. I'm a little psychic here on YouTube, and I do a variety of readings on here, including celebrity readings, pick a cards, astrological breakdowns, and even commentaries on anything spiritual, conspiracy, religious, or anything that's happening up in the stars, okay? Before we get into the reading, though, just a disclaimer, it's all alleged for entertainment purposes only. So that means you don't really have to believe anything I have to say. You don't have to believe what I am saying on here. Just know this is based on my own intuition breakdown of the cards. But I do ask that you guys please be very respectful in the comment section. Um, I know when it comes to celebrity readings, people get really engrossed in celebrity culture in their life. And honestly, guys, we don't need to be doing all of that. This is just for entertainment. So just sit back, grab your popcorn and your beverages, and let's get it right into it. Now, what's so interesting about this, guys... Um, if you watched my most recent Jay-Z reading, and I don't, I think I posted it, like, it was regarding him and Beyonce's marriage, and I clearly remember during that reading, I kept seeing that there was a storm brewing, I kept saying that, and I was seeing a potential separation happening for them but it was to protect their assets so i was getting something along those lines last time and it's interesting that now we have this accusation coming up and now everybody's saying oh are they about to separate we're gonna look into it so i'm gonna see what is jay-z's current energy what's his current energy now, i remember seeing beyonce very upset and angry um, and worried about her reputation, worried about Blue Ivy, the whole family and all that. So let's see, what is Jay-Z's current energy? You have the Four of Pentacles. We have the Chariot reversed. What is Jay-Z's current energy regarding this lawsuit? We have the Four of Wands. Okay, let's get one more. Show me Jay-Z's energy. And then we have the Three of Pentacles reversed. Overall energy is the Five of Swords. Underlying energy is the Seven of Swords. Very interesting. There is a lot going on here, okay? Number one, here's what I'm getting. Jay-Z is very upset. He's very angry. That's what I'm seeing with the Five of Swords here. He's actually trying to investigate who this alleged victim is because what I'm getting from his energy, he really has no idea who this is. If I'm going to be completely honest, and this is just based on his perspective. Um, let's start with the Four of Coins or the Four of Pentacles and the Chariot Reverse. This to me speaks of somebody who is keeping to themselves or feels like they have been keeping to themselves. Someone who's been very punctual and very specific on how they're allocating their energy their time and even showing up the chariot reverse can speak of a slowdown or a stop and then we have the four of wands here this is relating to his environment the home life so i can say for a fact jay-z is trying to get his ducks in order regarding this whole lawsuit thing he's trying to make sure that he's being presented in the the right way according to his perspective, in the right type of light. And I'm even seeing with the Three of Pentacles reversed, this is speaking of the work environment. He is upset mainly because 
when it comes to connections at work, especially with uh, other celebrities, and uh, as you know, people are they peak, they keep linking him to Diddy, for example. I see a lot of like anger regarding how that is actually impacting home. So let me just say this again, and I saw this in the previous reading. The energy between him and Beyonce is very shaky. The family is on edge right now. The entire family is on edge. I can see, see that for a fact. And they're trying to make sure that whatever he has going on is not impacting Beyonce, for example, or the kids. They're really trying to foster a stable environment. And I would say they're trying to show support. They're trying to make sure they are showing up as a unit and that they're standing strong together. But it is pretty difficult, for, especially with you know these accusations that are coming out. Now, I'm also seeing some issues with money, especially with the Four of Pentacles and the Chair Reverse. I actually feel like there's a bit of a slowdown when it comes to the money that's coming in. I feel like he is losing out on some opportunities. I'm not going to lie, especially with that Three of Pentacles Reverse. I do feel like not only... Is this lawsuit causing people to steer away from collaborating with him or working with him? But I even feel like in the future, it's going to be very prevalent. So yeah, that's something he unfortunately has to look forward to. Now, I'm going to pull some more cards here. But is Jay-Z a little bit concerned? Yes, he is. I still don't think he knows who this is. Um, he, I see him confused. That's number one. He's really confused. But with that Seven of Swords here, as the underlying energy... He is trying to, I guess, figure out how to play the system. And when I say that, I'm not trying to say like he's guilty or he's not guilty, no. But Jay-Z is quite powerful in the industry, as we all know. So the thing about him, because he has the resources, because he has the power, he's going to do whatever he can to make something swing in his favor. And that's something he's been doing throughout his, throughout his entire career. And especially with this situation, although this is kind of putting him on edge a little bit, he does believe he has the resources to figure out what's really going on and to, you know, see, you know, if this is actually a victim, we don't know, or if this is somebody who's trying to take advantage. Again, the Seven of Swords can speak of sneakiness and deception. This could be on his end or regarding the other person. So let's see what else wants to come through. How is Jay-Z currently feeling? We have the Seven of Wands. He is ready to stand up for himself. He's ready to defend his case, his position. King of Pentacles. And he's his main focus is his family. I keep seeing the focus is family, his wife, the kids. And he's trying to make sure that they are not impacted by this. But he's, yeah. I'm not going to be a broken record, but let me just pull then the hanged man reverse hmm. and then the king of swords reverse i'm seeing an air sign being highlighted here with the knight of cups reversed and i'm going to look into the actual lawsuit itself and see how well you know what the outcome is but whoever this king of swords um this could be a potential air sign Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but I he does feel targeted. So Jay-Z does believe people are targeting him. I'm wondering what the lawyer is. What's his name? Busby? I'm wondering what his zodiac sign is, when his birthday is, because I'm definitely, because when I see the King of Swords, this is someone relating to law in my eyes. This is somebody who's relating to um, the justice system, somebody dealing with law enforcement. King of Swords is a very logical, but yet cutthroat energy. And when you have this reverse, this is somebody who is ruthless. So Jay-Z does feel like he's being targeted by this person, whoever this is. But I'm kind of feeling like it's the lawyer that's behind the alleged victim. Now, I want to look into how the lawsuit is going to go. I don't want to make this reading too long, guys. So what's, how is the lawsuit going to go, especially for Jay-Z? How is this going to go? We have the Ace of Wands. We have the Three of Pentacles reversed. Mm. I'm hearing, where's the evidence? Where's the proof? 
saying they're trying to search. They're trying to search for proof. Now, I'm not going to sit here and try to say if he did do it or if the victim, you know. I I'm not going to be doing all that because that that's not really my lane, if I'm going to be completely honest. So, I hope you guys respect that. Um, but Seven of Cups. This is very strange because I'm seeing a lot of confusion. And I'm seeing delays, actually, with the lawsuit. Death card reverse. Yeah, I'm seeing, like, stagnancy. So what I can say for a fact, allegedly, is that this lawsuit might be drawn out. The death card reverse can, yes, speak of like a rebirth or something coming back to the surface, as I can see with the Ace of Wands as well. But the death card can speak of a change or an ending that has been delayed. So I can say with a hierophant here, it's going to take certain time for them to really get through this lawsuit and come up with a final decision. Now, I keep seeing that there's going to be a bit of confusion regarding the actual evidence or what's being presented or how the evidence is being presented, essentially, how it's said. Especially with the Four of Cups here and the Seven of Cups, I just keep seeing like this detached energy and Seven of Cups is speaking confusion or like multiple avenues or multiple ways this can go. So I'm not really seeing it an outcome or what the final verdict would be but i can say that there is going to be a bit of confusion here now the thing that's different with this situation versus other situations jay-z may have dealt with in the past this is really going to take a lot out of him i don't feel like this specific lawsuit is going to be, be the end-all be-all for him you know the the very thing that's going to destroy his reputation i don't feel it in this lawsuit at all so I'm not sure if the final verdict is going to lean in his favor or not. I don't want to look into that just yet. But what I can say is there's more to come that this lawsuit might be the cause of. I feel like this lawsuit actually might be the Pandora's box. Okay, I'm, I feel like this might be the gateway for everything to flood in, you know, more people to come out. That's what this is feeling like. Now, with the this lawsuit, yeah, I just, I'm hearing crickets. Like, I don't think we're going to see much development. Matter of fact, it might, there might be a conclusion, but it's not going to be public. I just see a lot of fog, like mist. It's like very hidden. I don't know. It's weird. Even with the Three of Pentacles reverse, I'm just seeing delays and things getting complicated. And I want to remind you guys, this lawsuit, I believe, was filed during the Mercury retrograde. We're still in the Mercury retrograde. And when you try to do anything legal or sign any documents or make any agreements during a Mercury retrograde, there's going to be some form of complications. So I just want to put that out there. Um, let me see. Yeah, but I'm seeing a delay. I'm seeing some confusion with the evidence. That's why I keep hearing, where's the evidence? But this Ace of Wands is really telling me this is going to be the start of a floodgate. Okay? That's what this loss is basically representing. It's like a, a faded event, essentially. Now, remember when I did... Yeah, I keep seeing, like, where's the facts? Where's the evidence? Okay. Okay. Interesting. Now, the thing is... I remember doing, like, I don't know which reading it was for Jay-Z, but I remember one of the issues that was going to be highlighted for him was his business dealings and where he's allocating his money. I think that's the main thing that might be taking him down, um, his business dealings, especially with artists, with investments. I guess the main event will be his business dealings. And it kind of feels the same way, if I'm going to be completely honest. Yeah, I th there's something very strange about this lawsuit. Like, I'm seeing a lot of sneaky behavior here. Um, I'm seeing a lot of... It, this might be on both sides. Like, people trying to, like, reach. <laughs> you know, like, when you, people are reaching for evidence or they're trying to reach for a conclusion, but it, it kind of feels like that. I'm sorry, y'all. Like, it's, it's weird. The star. And then the five of cups. King of Cups. Mm, interesting water sign. Yeah, I'm not I'm not getting a, a final say in this just yet. I just keep seeing a delay. Now, the star here, I, again, there's something else. Seven of Cups can speak of, again, multiple 
outcomes. But to me, I'm actually seeing this as other scenarios or other situations being brought up that will be receiving more attention compared to this specific situation. So again, something else might be overshadowing this and we might completely forget about this lawsuit if I'm going to be completely honest. Um, yeah, and then the justice reverse. Yeah, I don't... This can speak of like something appearing unfair or justice not being served on either side. So... Yeah, I'm not gonna tap more into that. I think we get, the, I think we get the message here. Now I want to see what's next for Jay Z, and then I'm in the reading because I don't want to make this too long. What's next for Jay Z with the Emperor? Jay Z is still going to use his power as needed. Um, he, the one thing about him, he's very confident in his own decisions. He's confident in the actions he takes. So that's the one thing I would say about him. He always shows up as this emperor-like energy. So he's definitely going to wield his power and his sword when needed. But with the Ace of Cups reversed. Mm. Ace of Cups reversed. Five of Cups reversed. And then we have the Justice reversed. I do feel like... There might be more lawsuits heading his way. Eight of Wands, yep. There's going to be more lawsuits, more people coming out wanting justice, wanting wanting their stories to be heard, okay? And I'm saying there's multiple. Eight of Wands can speak of rapid change in movement. And this can even speak of communication, news that comes in. So we're going to hear more news of people coming out, accusing him of certain things. Now, I wanna I'm going to clarify once again what this could be pertaining to, but this could be pertaining to his money situations, his finances. Let me see, Emperor. Clarify the Emperor. Four of Pentacles. Wow, the one thing about Jay-Z, like I said, he's very powerful. We can see that, but if he feels cornered, he'll start acting like a tyrant. That's what I'm getting from this. Four of Pentacles is someone who's very tight. Like they want to control every single thing so i definitely see him trying to put his hands everywhere and trying to influence situations into his favor but i see him getting pushed out of his comfort zone in the near future i'm seeing a fallout with the ace of cups here being highlighted here um i'm not sure with who temperance reverse he's a sagittarius too this is temperance ruled by sagittarius Yikes. Okay. And then clarify justice because I think this is the main one here. Ten of Wands. Mm. This speaks of burdens. He's going to be overwhelmed and stressed with legal matters in the near future. Now, it's going to require a lot of strength on his end. He's going to be using his power more than ever at this point, especially when it comes to like damage control or trying to prove that, hey, I'm innocent. Jay-Z is definitely being attacked, I would say. People are targeting him. But during this time, you know, you, you can argue, well, maybe it's justified. Maybe it is time for all his skeletons to come out, you know? Maybe it's time for all of this. You know, 2024 was the year of karma, right? Cat Williams said that. 2025 will be a whole mess. <laughs> so I I feel like 2025... Yeah, I'm seeing exposures with the sun reverse. This is things are negative. Jay-Z might be overwhelmed and I feel like he may not be able to keep up with trying to uphold a certain image. You're going to start to see cracks in the facade, especially from him. Now, I want to see what this Ace of Cups reverse is. What is this Ace of Cups? This is like a fallout that's been highlighted. What is this? The Hermit. Is this Beyonce? She's a Virgo. Hermit is Virgo energy. Ten of Cups, yeah, this is Beyonce. <sighs> Four of Cups reverse. I still see them separating, potentially separating. But I don't think it's because they hate each other. It's more like we need to protect what we have built over the years. Judgment. 
Oh, poor Beyonce. She wants to hide, I'm saying, in the near future. As Jay-Z continues to deal with these accusations and these tower moments that are about to occur for him, I see Beyonce trying to shrink back, but unfortunately, that's going to be very difficult for her. I keep seeing a spotlight. So you see the hermit. They want to be isolated. They want to be in the dark. They want to have their alone time. They want their privacy. But unfortunately, with the judgment, you see how there's a light, like the divine light being highlighted. Yeah, I don't know if she'll be able to. It kind of feels like she will have to show up even when she doesn't want to. The high priest is reversed. This is, again, somebody who wants to be hidden, but they have to show up. They have to present themselves a certain way. She is worried about how people are going to view her, especially how this will impact her future projects. I know she's in the process of creating act three. So I think she's worried about that rollout through her cups. Mm. So regarding act three, I was getting some channel messages about that album. She will put it out. I do see that. And I do feel like people will enjoy it. Um, act three feels like a finale. It feels like a wrapping up of a trilogy. And it feels like this is the final aspect of Beyonce. I don't know how to describe it, but it feels like each act, starting with act one, was a representation of a side of Beyonce that she wanted to express. I'm getting that. And I feel like act three, there's something very special about it. So I do feel like people enjoy it. And I'm seeing a very important collaboration on there. So be on the lookout for that. Now, on the flip side, I do still see some conflicts and some issues arising surrounding the album, people critiquing her, people trying to tear her down, and even bringing up her personal life with Jay-Z. And I'm telling you, this whole hate train and tower moment that's coming is kind of making it worse. So I will pull or probably do a different video for Beyonce closer or maybe after the album drops or whatever. But yeah, those are some things that I was feeling. Now I'm going to go ahead and end the reading. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and um, let me know your thoughts about this whole situation. You know, what are your theories? What do you believe? What, how do you feel? I'll be interested to read it all. All right. I'll see you guys later.